Good morning everybody, I am here today to film a super exciting video, I have never filmed one of these before and it's probably just because I am so fussy when it comes to my bases, I'm not very experimental but as some of you guys might know because I've talked about it on my Instagram, my favourite foundation ever which I've been wearing literally for I want to say like six years, seven years, the Double Wear Light by Estee Lauder has now been discontinued. At some point I'm going to run out of this, like although I have, I feel like six years worth of product to keep me going, I love foundation, it's just that I'm petrified of trying them. When I heard about this foundation launch I was like, I have to get my hands on this. Then when I heard about like the finish, I watched her videos on it, etc. I was even more eager to try it. And it is Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation, in the packaging. And I got this in the post yesterday. I'm not one of these people like, you know, I like makeup and everything, but I've never been someone who has put like an alarm on my phone to tell me when it comes online to buy, etc, etc. Um, but I did that with this foundation. She very kindly gives you these little cards which have different shades on it and you can choose like different cards going by your skin tone and I could have just got those and tried it but reading up on the shade and everything I hope this is gonna be like the right shade for me I feel like the description really sold it to me so she says this is an intelligently formulated self-setting sold because I don't like setting my whole face a foundation which blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a natural looking soft focus finish me and a foundation. At the end of the day, you know, being a business owner myself and, you know, although I don't sell product, so to speak, I know that, you know, something being aesthetically pleasing and nice is, it does mean a lot. And I like the fact that she, you know, came up with something different and yeah, she's not wrong when she says that it feels nice in your hand. So I got the shade number 15. It comes with a pump. I love a pump foundation. And I did watch her application process of this myself, so I kind of saw, you know, how she recommends you to use it. She says you can use it with your hands. I'm not normally a foundation hands kind of girl unless I'm being really, really lazy and, you know, I'm just kind of using the foundation as sort of like a tinted moisturiser look. So I will be using a brush. She did actually bring out a brush to go with this with this foundation, but it was a flat brush. I haven't used a flat brush for... Again, I want to say like eight years to apply foundation and I just, I don't know, I just, I was going to get it but then I was like, I love a sort of brush like this and I, I can't imagine that something like this isn't going to work. So I'm just going to use this um, like fluffier, denser brush to apply and we're going to try. I did, I won't lie, give this a go last night just like to see whether the shade we think could work. I think it will. Um, these are the other shades in my little card. I feel like that kind of looks about right. I really want to try this out as if I would be doing my normal base. So I've put sunscreen on, I have moisturised. Um, if you want to know what skincare I'm using, I don't know whether the video will be before this one or after, but I have a little vlog coming up where I show you guys my skincare at the moment but this is just i always love to apply like a glow underneath my foundation the good thing about testing this today is i have a really busy day um let me show you guys the time so it's 9 26 and it's friday the 12th of november i am going back to work today at fee i'm sure you guys all know that i have my own aesthetics business and I work in Euston in central London. I had to give myself a few days off because I've had a really stiff, horrible shoulder and I'm going back to work today. I have a busy day. I probably should still be giving myself a rest but I'm really busy and when you have your own business and you're self-employed etc, you know, you have to get over the pain and it is so much better. Um, it's just really frustrating here in the UK, the process of like getting a doctor's appointment, getting referred, it's just... A bit of a mess but it's it's honestly I feel like last Thursday I was in such a bad place with it and it's yeah so we're going to apply this on I'm gonna apply this on my finger and she actually said in her video that she 
made the pump that comes out small, like a small amount on purpose because she wants you to kind of build it but I do think one is just a little bit too small of a pump for me. So, already I love the feel of this. I just want to start off by saying. And I'm just going to start plying. You can probably tell I don't need a lot of coverage in like my forehead. My problem areas are, you can see my pigmentation that I have on my cheeks. Although it's so much better. And probably around there. There is no fragrance in this foundation, which I love. Um, I think she also says there's a lot of other like nastier ingredients that there aren't in here. And there's also no sunscreen, which I love. I love the fact that, you know, there isn't any in this because it means no flashback. So that's a very conservative first pump. You can see it's kind of smoothed out my skin. It's got a really nice finish. Remember, I did have that highlighter there, but that's how I like to wear my makeup. And Lisa does say that, you know, this works really well with your existing products. I've just got the mirror here, guys, sorry. Um, it's nice that she also says herself that you don't have to just go out and buy, like, all her products to work with this. So I'm doing another pump. Because she also says this is buildable, that's what I want to test today. Um... I'm going to be wearing a mask. I'm also, although I'm working, I'm wearing a mask all day today. I have to wear a mask, obviously, when you guys come in to see me at Fee. So I'll be taking my mask off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on. And that's going to be a real test of how this sort of wears. I'm also bringing it down my neck. I feel like it could be a smidge dark. Like a smidge. This is my real problem slide. So you can tell I always stipple on this side because it's where I want. the most coverage and I'm actually going to come close so you can see god those eye bags are not Chanel or anything for that matter I have honestly been not sleeping because of the the shoulder and back pain so I am really really liking this so my forehead is an area that I really don't like to apply a lot of foundation because I don't think I need it. And I love Lisa Eldridge's premise of put less product where you don't need it and you can always add in the area that you do. And then that makes your skin look so much more natural. So that's why I don't mind seeing a bit more like texture to my, my forehead area. And then this is my skin. You can see I do still have texture here, but... You know, I'm not expecting perfection. That's just my normal skin where I used to have all my breakouts. And then that's the foundation's finish. It feels so light on the skin. It doesn't feel like I want to take it off. It, To be honest, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation, which is lovely. But for me, the main test is going to be the wear test because... I'm not going to powder this. I would say my skin is pretty normal to dry at the moment. I'm very dry here, just in this area. And then I would say I'm pretty normal everywhere else. But the test is going to be how is this going to look when I'm constantly taking my mask off. I'm going on the tube later. I'm going into Oxford Street. I need to pick up my boyfriend's suit trousers. And... Yeah, so today's a really good day to test this. I'm now just going to carry on and do the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to film this because I feel like you guys have seen this so many times. But let's catch back up when when I finished. So my makeup is done. I have been doing other things. It didn't take me this long. I just had um, a couple of emails and stuff I had to send. 
and I'm watching Shea Lux as I just finished and it's 10.22. So the makeup's been on like, what, 40 minutes an hour? I can't remember when I started. Um, I would definitely say this is like more makeup than I would wear normally like day to day if I was going to, let's say, my pharmacy job and stuff. This is quite a, you know, I put time into this. I did like a little eyeliner. Um, it's a little bit more coverage. So I think this was two and a half pumps of foundation. It's pouring with rain outside, so I've got my hair slicked back in a little bun, which is my favorite. Um, but essentially, this is my everyday makeup, just with the new foundation. And so far, chef's kiss. It's, I haven't powdered. The only place I ever, ever powder is under my eyes. I use the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder and a little bit on top of their and a little bit on top of the airbrush flawless as well but otherwise the rest of the skin is unpowdered because i tend to break out from wearing powder foundations and powders just generally i think the colors are tidge too dark for me but like i said that's not a problem i can like bronze up and things like that but such a nice finish and I'll be honest so far it is reminding me of this um like I said the test will be the wear test because this wears beautifully I've worn this to like a spa before it like it doesn't come off with water um it's just an amazing amazing foundation so if this even comes close to that this will be a fabulous fabulous day okay, I look crazy I'm at the station and foundation check looking really good i literally legged it here because i thought i was going to be late for the train i think it's coming now but um yeah it's looking really really nice i'm just heating up my lunch as you can hear the microwave going um before my next patient i had a bit of a break and oh may have made a really bad mistake i have called me there for um for lunch that we had yesterday and this is literally gonna stink the whole place it's gonna smell like farts in here for the whole rest of the day <laughs> so kobe day is a type of kebab that we have in um oh, it smells so bad but it smells so good um it's a kebab that we have in well it's a rainy kebab basically it's kind of like kofta is that how you say it but Um, I used to take this to work with me when I worked in, when I managed a pharmacy in Hertfordshire and all my girls, if they're watching this, they're going to literally work themselves. And I used to bring this in sometimes and I used to be so self-conscious. It used to make the whole pharmacy stink of farts. Um, <laughs> that's literally the only thing I can say. It's a good thing to put my candle burning. Um, let's talk foundation whilst that is heating up. So first things first, which I just want to say, I've been talking for like an hour and a half now. Um, anyone who comes to me knows I can't do anything in like an hour. It takes me so long because I get chatting to you guys and stuff. So, um, you know, I had a consultation and everything. The main place when I wear a mask that my makeup comes off is my nose. And I haven't touched my nose because I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, this is so normal but normally i barely have any makeup left on my nose after consultations and i have to like rub at it i don't mind the fact that i have to kind of play with it a little bit for a second but first impressions wow another place that i always get like the mask sign is around here because i'm talking and obviously the the, the mask lines show up but I don't know whether I'm more excited for my Kobe there or this foundation. My lipstick hasn't done so well. I'm gonna taste this with you guys. We got this from any of my like Northwest people. We got this from Lavash yesterday. Tell me down below what's your favourite Persian restaurants in London? I would love to know. Mmm. I forgot to give you guys a timestamp before I go. So this is the foundation. It's five to five. 
and I literally I actually don't want to say I want to reserve judgment right until the end because I feel like I'm just too excited I just want to show you guys this is my mask there is literally zero transfer this is I feel like for you working girls especially who like me work in the medical field or generally like get on the tubes and stuff that's the only transfer and I think this is just because of my concealer like I like to contour my nose with cream products normally guys I would have foundation like on the mask and I have nothing I have not one bit of like a mark or anything from it I just yeah I just if that doesn't tell you anything then I don't know what does and I literally wear this like if you've come to see me you know i wear it the whole time um and normally i especially get transfer like around here because the mask will sometimes slip and then i'm constantly doing this and this and yeah have i found my new perfect foundation guys i mean if there was anyone who was going to do it it was going to be lisa eldridge let's be honest so i'm now going to um oxford street like i said well it's more like i think i'm going off regent street so my jumper's from Mango, I got it really recently. Um, this is a large, by the way. And yeah, it's really soft. The only thing is I think it's at that stage where it wants to like, just get things everywhere. And then my skirt, I actually found in my wardrobe. I got it ages ago on sale from Zara. And it's like a high waist little skirt. But yeah, I, I can't believe that I'm wearing skirts, you guys. Um, and then my shoes. A mango. I love these. I got these recently as well. I've already scuffed them, which is really frustrating. Okay. Ready, let's go. So here I am in the H&M changing room and there are a few things that I wanted to try on. First being this jumper, I really liked it, but it's got these weird cutouts like at the back of my neck, which is a bit odd and like on the sides. Ugh, I don't know, not, not really feeling it, especially not with a skirt. And I also tried on these boots, which I did really like. I'm on the hunt for some like knee high boots that I can wear every day that aren't high heels. So I will link these down below. I do really, really like them. And I'm just waiting for Black Friday basically. I'm also now going to try on a cardigan. You guys know how I feel about cardigans, but this was a bit, I don't know, a bit meh. I'm at my mum's house and it was so sad that something happened on the, um, what was what line was I on? I think the Northern line, so sad. And then I had to end up here so sad. <laughs> for dinner. And look at the dinner. Show it looks dinner. so good, I will show. Um, and they're also here because I'm gonna ask them a question but they don't want to be on camera. The question, ladies, is how is my foundation looking today? I like it much more than your usual foundation, actually. It's much more dewy. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't look as powdery. I think exactly. And it's not too full coverage. I don't look as powdery? Mm -hmm. Do I normally look powdery? No, I think sometimes no, your foundation can like not connect as much with your, with your powder, and it can it's make so you very matted. Less dewy. This looks, looks more dewy. More dewy. Come close and see. And it also doesn't look too full coverage, like it still looks quite natural. Yeah. Lisa Eldridge. Do you watch Lisa Eldridge? It's the Lisa Instagram. Eldridge Foundation. The only place literally it's rubbed off is my nose, but I've literally been taking off a mask, putting on a mask, taking off a mask, putting on a mask, because I was going around all the shops. But you have to show your dinner. I'm going to show my dinner now. Well, this means Estee Lauder, I have about 10 bottles that I need to get through as well. This is my dinner. So, mm. And I have a big exactly. piece of garlic in it. Mm. Oh my god, who is jealous? This is literally just tomato pasta. And look at how look at the look at the spread that I get. This is why I came here. I even get whatever <laughs> so I'm not even eating bread. She's well, giving me bread. <laughs> No, oh my god, <laughs> let me get some zoom up in here. You know, I live for this thing. <laughs> I love this thing. This is just, just for Christmas. tomato pasta, everybody. But let me tell you, it's <laughs> the so best. Bad. 
It's so good. Because it's fresh it's tomato. Just it's fresh tomato, bro. <clears throat> okay, bye everyone. <laughs> I like to make the table nice, even if I'm having breakfast. Oh yeah, it makes such a difference. Yeah, my dad used to say, use your expensive stuff at home for yourself. Enjoy <laughs> it. <laughs> you know what I had for lunch? What did I had So like, yeah. I, had, I had both of my... my um, Favourite my, two of my favourite foods today, like nationality-wise. So it's 9.26 now and I'm home and verdict on the foundation um have you noticed anything different about my face it's a bit shiny right? oh you don't like that do you you like shiny face you don't like shiny face who likes shiny face i like shiny face <laughs> <laughs> where tell me oh no honestly because it's good to know where do i look i mean the light is yeah but and I you oh like that's the place you i feel like i can see myself in it hey look <laughs> now away from the light it doesn't matter the light doesn't make a difference you would have you still shine shine light like a <laughs> <laughs> do you actually think my forehead's shiny yes oh i mean it looks a little shiny on camera but not wait is that the is that the intended that's good in, in YouTube, like in, in fashion world. You say, oh, I look so shiny, I, mean, I love it. I mean, we wouldn't say shiny, we would say dewy. Like a mountain dew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, that's interesting, because Mum and Alessandra said the complete opposite. They c completely dissed my other foundation, and they said they prefer this one. Maybe they know something. I, don't, I mean, I'm not the, I don't have the greatest attention to detail, so... Okay, well, I'll give my verdict. So I've been wearing this literally since 9.30 and it's now 9.30 again. Um, I'm completely shocked that this is still on my face because I normally have a real battle with foundations not transferring and I told you guys that earlier. And you know what's really nice? And you won't understand this as a guy, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. Mm. Which is so nice because especially when you're in london all day you just sometimes come home and i'm sure everyone can agree with this you literally want to scrape like scrape your makeup off do you know what would be good to do a kiss test let me see if it transfers on you <laughs> big 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 thank you to lisa eldridge for potentially making my new favorite foundation because i love it honestly i would say strong 8.5 right now but i just kind of want to like familiarize myself with it a bit more so, yeah. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye.